everyone. We will continue that topic, interactive classical report events. And in the previous video, we started with the interactive classical report event that is top of page during line selection. The purpose of this event is to give the header or title on a page of secondary list. If I want to give the header or title on a page of basic list, then top of page event. If I want to give the header or title on a page of secondary list, then we need to use the event top of page during line selection. Now we will continue that topic. So as a part of that, we have written the logic as a part of top of page event. We have written the logic as a part of top of page during line selection. Now, what I will do, I will put the breakpoints and we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode. So what I will do, I'll put a breakpoint in start of selection. I will put a breakpoint in add line selection. I will put a breakpoint in top of page. I will put a breakpoint in top of page during line selection. I'm running the program. I'm giving the input. Whenever I will click on to the execute button, we all know firstly start of selection event will trigger. I'm clicking on to execute button. And you can see currently which event is triggering start of selection. This logic is the part of start of selection. Now, based upon the input, our input is on the right hand side. We are fetching data from header table for how many columns? These four columns and data will come into this internal table. If you see, this internal table has zero records as of now. Once I will execute this query, data will come into this internal table. I'm doing F6 because F6 is line by line execution. Now you can see we have five records in the first internal table. We have five records in the first internal table. Now this loop will continue how many times? Five times it will continue. Now I'm going for the loop. Now what is side tab x1? What is side tab x1? Now we have the first write statement, first write statement. But at what time top of page event will trigger? When we have the first write statement on a page. And as of now, we have basic list. Yes, we have not done the interaction as of now. We have the first write statement on a page of basic list because firstly basic list will come. So this write will not execute. Firstly, it will go to which particular event? It will firstly go to top of page event. Now, if I will do F6, you can see it went to top of page event. And what is the title? What is the title we gave? Header details. So it will give header details. Now it will go to these write statement one by one. And yes, header should be first. Then after that, details should display. Now it will write the first record. Have you seen? It is still, it is writing the first record down. Side tab X is one. Previously, it has not written the record. It just checked. Yes, we have the first write statement. So it went to top of page. Now it will write the first record. Now it will write the second record. Currently, this basic list is going on. So we have the third record, side tab X is three. We have the fourth record. And now we have the fifth record. And now we have the output. So we have this, this header details is coming by which event top of page. 
top of page event triggered for the first right statement on a page and we have only basic list as of now as of now basic list now suppose i am double clicking now suppose i am double clicking on to third record whenever i will double click you all know which event will trigger at line selection at line selection triggered in three action either you can do double click you can sel select a row and click on to this choose button you can select a row and do f2 in all the actions at line selection will trigger i am double clicking now whenever you double clicked have you seen which event is triggering at line selection now i selected the third record so which system variable is giving the contents of the selected row sci l i s c l line selection now whenever we want to fetch data from item table what i required i required this order number we put so much stress in the previous video how from this particular string value how we can take a substring position starts from 0 and i want how many character 10 character so if i will show you sci diesel plus 0 to 10 is 3 now it will fetch data from item table and what is order number order number is 3 the c this internal table has zero records as of now whenever the query will execute for order number 3 it will fetch data and data will come into this internal table now have you seen we have three records in the internal table three records now we are writing these three record now the most important part will come this loop will continue three times now we have the first right statement first right statement on which list now secondary list because we clicked on to basic list now it will take us to what secondary list now we have the first right statement on a page of secondary list so it will not write this right statement you can see site abex is one it will not write this firstly it will directly go to which event now top of page during line selection now you can see we are directly on to the event top of page during line selection because we have the secondary list and this sci diesel plus 0 to 10 is what 3 so but the title it will give item details and item details for which order number three order number it will give that title now it is coming on to the right statement is yes, it is going for first record now it is going for second record now it is going for third record now if you see now we have the output so this header or title is coming by which event top of page during line selection this is your secondary list and this is your basic list basic list important topic and yes customer always ask for different title because it should be customer understanding also yes that this is first time list and this is second time list so what is the summary of the video in this video we fully understood the top of page even top of page during line selection even in the debugging mode that how it is giving the header or title on a page of secondary list so that's it in this particular video thank you